G'day guys, it's another beautiful day here in Montenegro and we are in Berast which is a small village or a town rather close to Kotor and I'll just show you guys the view that I have Got some blue skies on one side of the bay and then dark dramatic clouds on the other and I really love that about Montenegro and this used to be a small fishing village and then prosperity was brought to it by the Venetians because uh, Montenegro Cotor especially has a lot of Italian and Venetian specifically influences. It's also had the Romans here, uh, the, the French were here uh, and also uh, the Ottoman Turks. Uh, so there's been quite a fair few battles that have been won and lost uh, in this very bay. And this town, Berast, is also known for being very close to a special little island called uh, the Lady of the Rocks, or Island of the Lady of the Rocks. So we're going to go check out Berast and check out this little island. St. Nicholas and I've just walked into one of the rooms here and it is very grand and just massive kind of reminds me of like a mini St. Peter's Basilica so you can see that Italian influence in the architecture here because the town of Perast was influenced heavily by the Venetians. They were actually uh, allies with the Venetians for many years. So I'll show you what it looks like. Just walking up the tower here in Paris. I just gotta watch our head here and our backpacks. Oh. We've got some boats departing for the island here and Kotor is in that direction, in the direction where the cruise ship is heading. It's actually quite normal to be getting rain and then for it to just stop in an hour or so and to have some sunshine and then rain again. That is the island where we're gonna head next. So this is St. Marco's Church from the 18th century. The Venetian lion. That famous emblem seen all over the Adriatic. Is seen here in Perast. Nothing wrong with a bit of rain. As we say in Australia, or Straya. It's going a little bit off the beaten path. Climbing up higher behind the town of Berast. Just to see what it's like away from the crowds. That's where we started with the big bell tower and the church. A few other small churches, museums dotted around here and Our Lady of the Rocks, a little island which 
we're about to go explore. Well, the rain is picking up. And I definitely want to go up there. What are you? 17th century palace. Wow. Which is still in use today by some family. Then we got a view of Terast. Our Lady of the Rocks, barely visible. Zdravo. It's really flowing here. So about to make my way to Our Lady of the Rocks. I got tickets or return boat tickets to the island and back to Beras for five euro. Other operators in the area will charge a little bit more, so it's always good to ask around. The cool thing about this island is that it's an artificial island, so it was made by uh, sinking old and seized ships filled with rocks uh, and then just piling rocks onto it and now they have this uh, permanent island that's been built. So we made it to Our Lady of the Rocks. It's one of the artificial man-made islands here in the Bay of Kotor. So that's it guys, I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, let me know your thoughts as always, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.